morning guys we're uh, headed out to the archery range right now uh, i'm gonna go take jojo out to go shoot his new bow um the other guys mark anthony frank went out uh shooting long range rifles today so i'll catch up with them a little bit later and uh see how they're doing but right now we're gonna go fling some arrows we'll see you guys Far left pig. Go for it. Hey guys, Jason from uh, AZ Stocks and Shots. Uh, we're out here at the archery range today with my son Josiah. Uh, he just got a brand new bow for his birthday, a Bear Prentice 3. So brought him out here today uh, to get him sighted in. So Josiah, what got you into archery? I'm going on a trips with you guys and seeing you guys like enjoy shooting them got me interested so i want to try it out awesome all right bud what uh what are you hoping to do with archery you want to just do 3d shoots you want to hunt what uh what, what are you hoping to do i want to hunt but i'd have to get used to shooting at first so i just gotta get used to shooting my bow so that i can try and go on hunts all right buddy all right, guys, we do uh, we do have a 3D shoot coming up. It's the 4th of July sunrise 3D shoot up in Alpine. Um, hope to see you guys out there. Check us out, AZ Stocks and Shots. Hope to see you guys there. So we got Josiah's bow set up and got him out there shooting. Um, again, as I mentioned before, it was a Bear Apprentice 3. The reason that I got this bow for him is I love the adjustability that it had. Uh, we were able to make any of the adjustments that we needed out there for the day. There at the range, we didn't have to take it into a shop and have those guys make the adjustments for us. We were able to do everything out there at the range. It's a great little bow. Uh, it ranges from 15 pounds to 60 pound draw weight and 22 to 27 inch draw length. So when we pulled it out of the box, I believe it was set at 45 pounds. And as you can tell, Josiah was having having a little bit of a hard time drawing it back so we went ahead and torqued it down a little bit uh, brought it down to 36 pounds more or less I believe it was around 36 pounds and he seemed to be doing a little bit better with it um, it was also set to 22 inch uh, for the draw length so we went ahead and cranked that out to 25 inch once we made all the adjustments he was definitely doing a lot better didn't even bother doing anything with the sights really um, I just made some minor quick adjustments um, so make sure he was going to be hitting paper and that's really all I was looking for throughout the day is I wanted to see him get used to pulling the bow back get used to actually hitting the same spot um, even if it was not where he was aiming as long as he's getting good groups uh, that's that's really all I was looking for uh, as the time goes on I'm definitely going to work with him a little bit more on his form make sure he's not torquing the bow and also uh that he's checking his bubble using his peep sight appropriately and we did work on these things while we were out there but as time goes on I definitely want to work with him more on his form uh, I think you know one thing we definitely need to keep in mind as parents or mentors to any any youth shooting archery is is make sure that they stay interested uh, you don't want to over coach them you don't want to you don't want to overdo it with them they're they're it's inevitable that they're going to get fatigued and discouraged at times but i think it's our duty as as parents as mentors to to make sure that they're having fun with it um one of the biggest things for me with josiah was that in his form he's he's really muscling through to pull the, the bow back and i want to make sure that he's he's at least working on getting proper form there and as i said uh, as time goes on i'm definitely going to work with him more on that but I'm really excited to have him in this and wanting to do it, you know, a little bit more with it with more than just the 3D shooting or archery or a target shooting. But the fact that he even wants to get out there and hunt is, is really pleasing to me and, and I can't wait to go hunting with him. So as Josiah started to get a little fatigued, I wanted to go ahead and shoot myself. I noticed in the past that, you know, I, I, I get pretty good groups. I consider myself to be a pretty good shot. Um, but you know I'll have straight arrows every once in a while and and there could be a lot of different factors but I wanted to at least eliminate some of them so one of the things that I noticed is that I'm 
when I'm pulling back a full draw, uh, my anchor point, I usually tend to set my finger right below my ear. Uh, just have my knuckle there, and, and I've used that as my anchor point every time. Um, I've noticed that that's, that's kind of a flaw in, in, in my technique just because um, if you look at the string placement of, of where I'm drawing back, it's it's not always the same. So one of the things I want to do this year is get a, a kisser button. Uh, for the people that aren't familiar with that, a kisser button is a brass ring that goes on your string that, that's supposed to go at the corner of your mouth when you're at full draw. So I want to add that this year and, and see if that really makes a difference. As you can tell from the paper, I was all over the place throughout the day. A lot of that having to do with the fact that I hadn't shot my bow in a while. So I needed to make some adjustments to my sight. Uh, just tune things in a little bit better. And as I did, th my shots got better throughout the day. I was pretty happy with the end result. Uh, I did have a couple wild shots. But again, I think that had to do with uh, my anchoring point And really hope to clean that up and get some better, better groups throughout the year.